Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today we have something really cool to share with you. And that's a new browser from Opera called Opera One. Sounds pretty interesting, isn't it? But without further ado, let's just dive right in and see the main features of this amazing new browser. But before we jump into the browser, we can just take a look at the Opera One teaser showing off its main features. Opera One is designed to replace the flagship Opera browser for Windows, Mac OS and Linux later this year. With its so-called modular design and the introduction of Tab Islands, this browser is set to transform the way we interact with the web. Plus, it's the first major Chromium-based browser to integrate AI features like ChatGPT and ChatSonic right in the sidebar. Ok, so let's take a closer look at some of the key features of Opera One. First up, the modular design. So what do they mean by that? There's two cool new features that express a lot of this idea and that's the Tab Islands, which is a game changer for managing multiple tabs. This feature groups related tabs together in an intuitive way. For example, if you access two pages of the same website, it will automatically group these tabs, allowing you to easily distinguish between different tasks and switch between them with ease. You can also minimize these groups so it becomes way easier for you to save some space. But I think this could improve because as soon as you minimize your tabs, you're only left with the island color banner, which is easy to forget in my opinion. Probably would have been better if instead of just the color banner, there would be a logo of the website or something descriptive of it. But I think this is really cool and will totally affect in a positive way how we manage workspaces. And this is not all. You can also have different workspaces like in this case, which means that you can group your spaces based on your schedule, topics and many others. For example, you can have a workspace for your project, another one for entertainment, another one for news and you get the point. I'm not sure exactly how many workspaces you can add, but I bet there's more than five workspaces easily. So this is another cool feature that expresses the new modular design. So that means that Opera One has been redesigned from ground up to provide a more fluid and intuitive browsing experience. Now overall the user interface is not extremely different from the main Opera browser but it has these new integrations especially with AI which we thought to be super interesting and a big leap into how browsers will be in the future. So basically this will be the core of new browsers. As you can see Opera One has integrated both ChatGPT and ChatSonic which is an alternative to the first one and of course you need to sign in to use any of these AIs but they are very well integrated integrated and you get direct access to the services without having to go to a new tab or anything that might get you badly organized. And besides that, the really really cool thing is the AI prompts feature which is still in early access but you can already make use of it. So let's just give you an example of how this works. Let's say I'm accessing a Wikipedia page related to quantum mechanics which is not my field at all. But I want to understand something and I want to have a clue about it. So if this article is not comprehensive enough, what do I do? I'm a simple man, I click on AI prompts, which will give me a few options related to the content that I'm visiting. So let's say I click on what's the main point, and as you can see, Opera One will write a prompt, including information from Wikipedia, and then ChatGPT will make a few bullet points to make it easier to understand. From here on I can also tell ChatGPT to explain to me like I'm 5 and this will make it a super easy task for me to get quantum mechanics in a nutshell. That's super trippy, isn't it? Quite a bit exciting but I'm also terrified at the same time. Other than these main features, we still get the basic integration with WhatsApp, TikTok and you can add more than just this with services like Twitter, VK and others. And when it comes to the looks, it's smooth and elegant and you still get plenty of cool options to customize your starting page and as well your main wallpaper or choose between a light or dark mode and whatever they called lucid mode, which supposedly sharpens videos and images on all sides which, to be honest, looks a bit too extreme, but hey, this is still a work in progress, so we might expect something improved in the future. Besides that, we can still feel a familiarity with the default Opera browser, seeing elements already existing, 
and design that we already know. But all in all, we thought this to be a brave step towards integration with AI and the tab islands and workspaces features that will create more room for our tabs to breathe and our work to be more organized. We thought it to be a great move and we can already see a bright future in the world of browsers. And that's it for today's review. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more quality reviews and fixes. Let us know in the comments what you think about Opera One and if you'll be making the switch. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.